Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and in today's video we are going to add the Unify 8 port 60 watt PoE switch to the lab controller we set up in part 2 of the basic home networking series. Welcome to part 3 of the basic home networking series. So in part 1 we set up the Edge Router X and in part 2 we set up the Ubiquiti Cloud Key and Unify controller. I'll put links to both of those videos up above. Today, in part three, we're gonna add the US860 watt to that controller. But first, let's take a look at the data sheet and some of its features. Looking at the front panel from left to right, there is a status indicator light, which usually flashes white when the switch is starting up and turns solid blue when the switch is ready to go. Next is the Ubiquiti logo, followed by eight gigabit ethernet ports. When using the included power adapter, Ports 5 through 8 function as auto sensing 802.3AF PoE ports. Next, looking at the rear of the unit from left to right, there's a ground screw, vents for cooling, the power port, and a reset switch. Let me move the page up. Looking at the top of the unit is the Unify logo, link indicator lights, and PoE indicator lights. One side of the unit has a lock and vents for cooling. The other side of the unit also has vents for cooling. On the bottom of the unit, there are four rubber feet for use on a desk or holes for mounting on a wall. So now, let me get the switch plugged into my network so we can get to the adoption process. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's begin the adoption process. To find the new switch on the network, I'm going to use the UBNT Discovery Tool, and I've used that in the last video. It's a Chrome plugin that you can download from the Chrome Web Store. I'll include the link in the video description down below. So let's launch the UBNT Discovery Tool. And it found the Edge Router. Let's click on the Unify family and see if it finds the new switch. And there it is, the Unify Switch 8 PoE 60 Watt. It got an address from the DHCP server of 100.40, the MAC address, the firmware version, and the status as pending. So we're going to click on the action button so we could set the um, inform URL so the switch knows where the controller is. Now this is a local controller so it should find it no problem. So we want to set the inform and we're just going to replace this here with the IP address of the Ubiquiti Cloud Key. We're going to leave everything else the same and we're going to say execute. Okay, let's minimize this and come over to the Unify controller. I'm already signed in and let's come down to the devices tab. And there we see it's found the switch, it's pending adoption. So let's go ahead and say adopt. And it's provisioning. And soon we should get a connected status. And there we go, guys. There's the connected status. So it has the device name of the MAC address, the IP address, the status is now connected, the model number, the firmware version, the uptime. And here um, it has the locate icon, which would flash the indicator status light on the unit itself. If I press locate, it has a restart, and it's also showing that there is an upgrade available. So let's go ahead and do that upgrade now. Are you sure you want to upgrade from 3.7.17.5220 to 3.8.3.6587? Confirm. And now the switch is in the upgrading process. It should finish upgrading and then eventually provision, and then get back to a connected status. Okay, so the upgrade process finished, the switch provisioned, and now we have a connected status. The whole process took about three to four minutes, and that's not too bad. So next, the first thing we should do is change the name and give it a more user-friendly name. So let's click on the device, and let's click over here on configuration. And let's give it a friendly name in the alias field. So I'm going, going to call it um, Unify Lab Switch 
60 watt PoE and say save. And you can see here that the device name has now been changed. The switch is provisioning. And now it's connected. Okay, next, I want to change the IP address from a DHCP address to a static IP. So let's come over here to configuration and let's click on network. And where it says configure IP, let's say using DHCP, let's select static IP. And let's go ahead and give it, we gave the cloud key uh, 100.3. So let's give this 100.4 for the subnet, the gateway. Here's the router address. Uh, for the preferred DNS, I'll use the router address for the first DNS. And for the alternate DS, DNS, I'll just use a public. Let's queue changes and let's apply changes. And the switch is provisioning. And we should get a connected status when it's done. Still provisioning. And there we go, guys. We have a connected status. So that's it. That's just about it for today's video. We've successfully adopted the Unify 8-port PoE Switch 60 to the Lab Unify controller. Um, if you liked this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please like, and please share. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching, and see you next time.